the government telephone start proclaiming the goodness of God. When the government telephone start pulling down some strongholds from all our schools, start pulling down some strongholds from all our country, that's a serious trouble because the enemy is on the rampage. Start telling somebody, I ain't got time for people in business. Come, let's, let's, let's cover this nation. Let's cover our homes. Let's cover our grandchildren. Let's cover our children. Let's thank God for these waters. That's what the last, last challenge in the gospel. Tell somebody about Jesus Christ. Don't be ashamed to stand up for Jesus. Don't be ashamed to stand up for the truth. Because when you do so, in the last day, when he comes, with his glorious angels. Come on, somebody. And the trumpet of God shall sound. And the cloud shall bust ascender. And then we will see him what? In the air. And we'll be what? Call out to what? To meet him in the air. And then we will hear those of us who stay faithful. We will hear. Well done. Good. And the faithful servant. Enter. Of your Lord. And so, Christ the King, on the 16th Sunday after Pentecost, what is your decision this morning? What is your decision this morning? Jesus will ask you, Who do you say? Who do you say that I am? Can you say with boldness? Can you say with conviction? You are my God. You are my Savior. You are my Redeemer. I can put some more on there. You are my friend. You are my friend. Nobody can force you. But all I say next to Paul says, if you hear his voice this morning, speak unto you. Knock it on your heart's door. Then you will hear these words. Now is the accepted time. Right now is the day of salvation. I don't care how much Anglican you are. I don't care how much Christology you need. If you don't know Jesus Christ, then you are far from the kingdom of God. I see.